the brand new Monovault event. Yes, we are deep diving into everything released tonight. So without further ado, sit back, relax, thumbs up, subscribe, and enjoy it. Here we go. So first things first with a brand new update this week, aka Thursday, August 1st or Friday, August 2nd, depending where you're at in the world. We have his time treasure. Let's go. Now, I didn't make a video about this last month. However, I do want to point out something starting from the far right. 100%, y'all already know when it comes to a free-to-play perspective. Yes, 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 yes. On these bad boys right here, this 4K right here. 100% cake of doodles. Yes, this is a necessity. No if, no ands, the bus. That's why I always say stack up your blue diamonds to five to ten thousand, so you can purchase this with ease. Now, if you're hovering around after this purchase, you know one to two thousand, maybe three thousand blue diamonds, then I highly recommend not buying anything else. Now, if you're sitting above three, four thousand after this, then I definitely recommend going out and squeezing out these two i think this is the worst one out of all of them while it's not bad because you're getting 32 hours aka 1.3 uh geolite however if you're not hovering around the four or five thousand range when it comes down to this last part right here then i don't recommend it at all i was for the pay to play perspective yes <laughs> With that being said, moving on to time pack. Here we go. Same old, same old. You already know next Wednesday we're going to be dropping the goods on this. Hopefully we can pull a 30, maybe a 15, maybe a couple sixes, maybe a couple threes. You know, that would be nice. I think last month was atrocious as well. I think mediocre. However, really quick before we move on, I do want to say the Summit Clash video is coming. I keep postponing it because Hero Clash keeps releasing stuff. You know, we had Divine Trial that took place of it, and now we have the... The new mana event like i have to cover over the summit clash video but that is coming in early to mid august as long as your clash doesn't drop more new stuff on us but we will see you in the future here we go now when it comes to time quest very very simple to get this 10 free purple common scrolls just do your daily you got the arena cake of doodles you have awaken a hero to epic cake legendary is cake Five Ancient Summon Challenges, Cake, 20 Stand in the Garden, Cake of Doodles, and then perform 10 Arena Challenges. Very, very easy to do. You should be able to complete that in probably two days, honestly. Let me get that real quick. There we go. Moving on to the Time Weekly card. Now, in personal opinion, I do think this card is worth it. It's probably the only good thing besides a little 99 cent chest that is worth it in the Time Treasure event. And we'll see if I end up getting it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do come next Wednesday. However, if I do decide to spend money in the game, then I definitely will be taking advantage of this one. Okay, moving on to the login gift. Y'all already know, beating a dead horse. Always wait to the very last day to unlock this. Especially if you're going for these bad boys and you wait to the last day like myself. I highly recommend just waiting to the very last day. Okay. Time treasure events. As you can see, we have stage one. You're going to want to choose this 20 good old exclusive stones. Cake of doodles. And then stage two, you're going to want to go with the... Uh, you can Honestly, it depends when it comes to stage two. You're going to get the opportunity to choose this again, or you can choose the S plus card. I personally think this S plus card is absolutely atrocious. Now, unless you're, you know, a brand new player or you're hovering on that, you know, six to nine to 12 month mark where you're slowly, you know, working on Natalie or Geo or something, then I could see you using this. However, from a free to play perspective, it kind of doesn't matter just because it just, it's impossible. It's, I, with my free to play account, I never pull the S plus card and I've been pl playing since it came out. So, yeah. However, from a pay to play perspective, I recommend just going for this S card. You know, you're gonna save a whole bunch of your gems. And then when it comes to round three, you go for the hunter bomb or you go for the four star gem. Personally speaking, I'm torn between the four star gem and the hundred bomb exclusive stone because it seems like Hero Clash is releasing exclusive stones for free and extremely cheap throughout the months, which is good for us. So shout out to Hero Clash, greatly appreciated. So that means the value, you know, mathematically speaking from a financial perspective would go down. 
right? However, a four-star gem is still kind of hard to unlock, you know, w without extending the duration of time to collect from Summit Clash, etc. So I think the four-star gem is worth it. Now, if you're hurting on the stones and just go with the stones, you know? So yeah, that is the time treasure event. Now moving on to good old divine trial already complete. If you haven't seen the, if you're stuck video, are you stuck on the divine trial? Watch this video now. Yes, watch it. 100% great solution from myself and some of the community. So I highly recommend watching it if you are stuck. If you're not, good job. Cake of doodles, right? Too easy. Let's go. Now moving on to the final event, Mana Vault, baby. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to rip the bandaid off and I'm going to be honest. 100% my three cents. We have Before we judge the Mana Vaults, one, let's go over it, and then let's talk about the Arcana system really quick. So first things first, when it comes to Mana Quest, obviously you're going to want to do your daily routine. And when it comes to your daily routine, I did some quick math on it, and... Oh, there's still one more for Ancient Land? Are you serious? How? I did 25, but I guess one didn't count because of Unstable Connection? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. However, what does it actually get you? That is the question. I personally wish they would have released the Relic event, but it's cool. Now, event pack. Now, you get that. If you're a free-to-play player, you will not get those three. Okay? Now, for 100 bucks, you're going to get one of these bad boys and 50 of these. But what is a mana token? Well, we'll cover that in a few seconds. However, you have this bad boy as well. You get five of those for five buckaroos. Hopefully, you can pull 70 or 20 or a whole bunch of fives or something. But we'll see. Actually, we'll... We'll do it in this video. How about that? Yes, we will do this in this video. So make sure you watch the whole video. This is going to take a while. You need a better weapon. You need a better diamond. You need a better, a better, you need a better diamond. Ah, uh, there we go. Finally. Okay. So what I do like really quick is how Hero Clash switched up these bottom rewards for 25 bucks to get the eight. Or you can just double that and get three of these. I like how they're switching it up. They're trying something new. Awesome sauce. Like I said, when it comes to growing in life, the, the secret is feedback. Paying attention to the feedback, right? Now, moving on to the Mono Weekly card. 25 bucks, you get 15 of these bad boys. And then you get one of these. And just 15 plus... Three times seven is pretty sure that's 36 PEMDAS, baby. So the question still comes down. What are these? We'll get to that in a second. Now let's get to it in a second. <laughs> okay. So moving on to crystal energy quench. As you can see, for every 10 you use, you're going to get... Before we move on, before I deep dive into this and drop 25 bucks on it and open up the chest, I just want to say one thing. When it comes to the Arcana system, I probably, I, I honestly think that the Arcana system is probably one of the worst systems in Hero Clash. You know, we just got off this amazing journey of Divine Trial being the best game mode in Hero Clash since the game has been created. And then we just deep dive into the worst system ever created, which is the Arcana system. Now, the question is, why do I think it's the worst system? I think it's the worst because their class just took a whole bunch of stuff, aka data, and put it all together, gave it some symbols, and made some hard to get, some easy to get, and it's just way too much. And I like to compare the Arcana system to the Light Hall. The reason why the Light Hall is so beautiful is because it's extremely easy to as you can see, when you click this bad boy, oh, well, let's go to something we don't have unlocked. As you can see, when you click this bad boy, it says priest attack plus 35. It's very simple. You got the photos there of the heroes that it affects, you know, so on and so forth. And then you have the glorious power, which is, you know, another part of that where, again, you can click it and see warrior damage to priest 19.5%. And then you have your stuff at the bottom to get the increase and again you see the heroes it affects now when you go over to the arcane assist our ancient arcana you just have all this stuff here and all these symbols and you know knives and you know jewelry and witch hats and and then you click it and it's like okay daily afk gold plus 200k okay cool now the system would be fine if there's only like five or ten types of arcana or whatever there's 52 that you have to upgrade rank up 
collect all these materials for. And then the, the, whole, the whole issue is the shards too. This is a one, two, three year system at some points, especially for a free to play player. This is like a decade system. <laughs> and I think it's just too complex. And my main issue with the arcane system is you really can't relate it to your heroes. I don't know, there's something special about the light hall where you can see your heroes. It's like, oh, boom, 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 too easy, right? With Arcana, it's just, it's very disconnected. Yes. However, I, I just think it's just all over the place. I, I really do not like the Arcana system. I think the biggest issue is I don't think anyone can actually relate to it. And I think part of the issue is there's just way too much stuff to do in Hero Clash. And then when you add the Arcana system, it's an overload to where it's just like, okay, Arcana, cool. Let's just collect this, call it a day. You know, I think that's where the issue derives from. You know, when I see the Arcana system, I just see something just thrown together to, you know, increase every attribute or stat in the game that's broken down into pieces but you really can't relate to him like yes i need to work on this now maybe you feel different to top it off when it comes to the arcana system you have where is it at you have hunting battle which i think is one of the worst pve modes ever because one it doesn't change and then two hunting battle or Ancient Land is pretty much hunting battle on steroids. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Arcana system. Am I the only one who feels this way where I feel like the Arcana system, the Arcana Codex is just thrown together to upgrade little by little stats and there, there really is no bond. You really can't bond with the Arcana system unlike when it comes to the Relic system or the gem system. You know, you can choose your hero the moonlight and then will see the gems. The path forward. Yeah. And see the gems like okay cool this is working on her cool beans so here we go we're just gonna deep dive into this i'm going to burn 25 bones on this real quick so okay there we go so good old apple baby let's go so i get this which is pretty cool now the only issue with this is if i pull a heroic arcana at 75 percent and not the divine it's gonna be kind of upsetting but you know that's the risk you take when it comes to this system so let's see how many we can get right let's, let's test this out here we go oh let's go to the uh yeah let's do this real quick here we go um where's it at i have so much stuff here if this doesn't give me a 70 or a 20 yeah, it's So let's give it a whirl. We have 37, and let's see what happens. Okay, so you get 100. Okay, so we get, what, one stone? Cool. And we're getting these. Okay, cool beans. And then... So we get 200. Okay. And then... Yeah, getting this is... is if you're unlocking this, then... Hey, I got a bridge in Brooklyn. But <laughs> going on to the Mana Vault, as you can see, we got 300 of these. So you get 100 per 10 you do, okay, which makes sense. And with the Mana Vault, can I go all the way up? No, I can't. Unlocks upon spending Psychic Crystal. So we have to do this one first, okay? Uh, probably, oh, no, I don't want those. Absolutely not. I have tw I have like 10 of those, like 5 or 10 of those, so I'm going to go, I'm, let's do this real quick. Confirm. Unlocks upon spending 600? Oh, God, man. You have to spend 600 to get to 5F? So when I spend 60, you know, let's just get out of the way real quick. Let's do this. Okay, cool. So now confirm, we have rare items and then I already have a whole bunch of these. So I'm, I'm just going to go with this and how much do we have to spend? So next floor. Okay. And then, Ooh, sacred essence. I'll take that. I need that. I need, I need to max out some more items. What is this? Radiant arcana card interesting okay and then what's this you got the heroic one for 400 so as you can see you, you have to collect these and eventually get to 4f and 5f okay so this part is actually pretty cool now this part is awesome i do like it 
So this part does make up for it. It really does. Okay. I'm digging this. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised, I'll be honest. Yeah, th okay, this part's pretty cool. I do, you know what? I actually like this event. I do. I just think the Arcana system isn't good. Oh, man, that's, that's so weird. You know? It's like not liking Walmart, but going in there and just seeing your perfect product right there, you know? <laughs> yeah, so... So just to put it in perspective, on average, $100 is going to give you 50 of the mana tokens, which is the little goldstone looking thingies. And then when you use that in the... It's going to translate into 500, the psychic crystal, blue thingies. <laughs> and 500 of those is going to translate into the tier 5F which you can get a full S attribute armor, which is absolutely garbage. And the other one you can get is the Eternal Stardust, which is a 50% chance to get a Divine Arcana or 50% chance to get a Heroic Arcana, which having a 50-50 split, I don't think is worth it. So your only choice is to drop 150 to 200 to get 1,000 of these crystals, and then you're able to get the Fateful Tarot Shard, which allows you to enhance the arcana rank up level or you could drop a thousand and get your selection of a divine arcana card still i think this is extremely expensive for something that doesn't pack a punch if you know what i'm saying you know i personally if i was going to spend 200 dollars in hero clash i'm going to wait for the quarterly event where i can drop 200 on the you know two relic cards and you can move up the the line and get a relic card here an s plus card there and then when you get to what 700 or a thousand whatever little bottles or whatever 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 it is and then you end up getting one of those pink cards that has the eight three star gems in them or something i i think that's where i would put 200 bucks and well that's just my three cents and yeah i do think the event is awesome it's just unfortunate that the event is awesome just when it comes to a below mediocre system yeah i like it and yeah so hopefully i'll enjoy the video you know make you know have some financial responsibility when it comes to the app real life comes first and i will see y'all in the next video greatness manifested